Hi everybody, this is Marco from BIMS International. In this video, you'll see the benefits and features of our enterprise asset, maintenance facility, and energy management system, BEAM. If you're in the retail industry, this will reduce maintenance costs and any unplanned breakdowns and downtimes. It can manage assets like refrigerators, HVAC systems, boilers, AC units, and materials like cables, screws, air filters, wheels, and so much more. Here are some of the operations you can run within your company using our BEAM software. Here you'll see as I log into the Beam software, you select your company or facility as well as you put your username and password. This is our interactive dashboard where you can see different KPI statistics and longevity of your assets. You also have the ability to completely configure it and adjust each of the individual widgets and move them around. They include widgets such as bar graphs, tables, pie charts, scatter pods, and so many more. To begin, we'll be going into our asset management and looking at our map feature. Here you have the ability to pinpoint your different facilities as well as pinpoint different assets and materials that may be in transportation or moving. And this is completely uh, configurable and adjustable to your use as you can see the whole map. Here is a floor plan of your facility and you have the ability to pinpoint your different assets. Green indicating that the asset's in good condition and red obviously indicating it is in poor condition. And just by hovering over it, you can get a quick synopsis of your asset as well as you can click on it as shown previously and create a work order. You also have the ability to filter through your assets, facilities, locations on the right-hand side of the screen. Next, we'll be going into our asset pool. So if we go back into the top left of our screen and select assets, Here, you have the ability to see all your assets, and this is our asset tree. In the asset tree, you have the ability to define your assets and link them to different facilities, as well as different areas of the company. And you can also link your assets with different parent assets. For example, if you have a machine that has another asset linked to it. Here in the asset pool, you can search through all your assets. For example, if you're looking for a specific asset, you can just search it up on the top and you double click to open the asset up. Once you do also open the asset up, the first thing you'll see is your general information. So you have your asset code, that's a definition, uh, status type, and so forth. You also have the ability to see the materials associated with your assets, whatever they may be. You can also access your maintenance team. So whoever's in charge of your certain assets, you can uh, select them just by clicking on the three blocks and picking uh, where they respond as well as their work type. You can select them within the Beam software. And by clicking check, you have the ability to save it. Next, we'll be looking at our counter values. So this will allow you to count uh, certain values on your machines and are completely configurable to your machinery. You also have your legitimate proceedings so you can upload any comprehensive insurance information and so forth. We also have our documentation tab so you can upload handbooks, PDFs, and different files and you can also upload pictures of your assets into the picture portion of the screen At the top left you have the ability to save all this and that's how you add an asset to the asset pool using beam next we'll be looking at reports beam has over 400 plus reports in this example we'll be looking at an asset status report so at the bottom left hand side of the screen you click prepare and the report will automatically appear with the information you populate into the software here we see our asset status report and it gives us a nice easy to read diagram we also have a timer feature, which allows you to automate receiving reports via email. You have the ability to select when you want the reports to be received using the prepare to that hour feature on our software. And you can also include who you want the email to be sent out to, how often you want the report to be sent out, uh, and so forth. Next, we'll be looking at our maintenance management, and we'll be going into work requests. So at the top of the screen, you can see failure slash work requests. And when you select this, a screen will appear, and this is what anyone submitting a work request will see. You have the ability to update your production status. So if the production continues or if it stops, you also have the ability to update your maintenance priority as well as include a little explanation for the work request and what the issue is. At the top right hand side of the screen, you have the ability to save it and upload it. And that will be sent to whoever you guys configure the work request to be sent to, for example, a manager. And additional information, you have the ability to go in and view your work order types, failure current states, plan start dates, uh, plan end dates, as well as uh, more specific general information. You also have the ability to view your used materials in this section. As you can see shown on the screen, you also have the ability to go to your services. So any services that uh, 
occurred on your assets can be stored so you can keep a ongoing record of what is occurring you can also include any maintenance risks that you see with your assets as well as work steps uh, that have occurred and you have the ability to include any attached documentation that you may need as well as counter values so you can include uh, counters for your different assets that they may come with and lastly we do have a cost feature which is really cool because you can include labor cost material cost service cost and beam will crunch all the numbers together next we'll be looking at the calendar feature so when you do upload a work order they all get stored to the calendar for easy accessibility and efficiency you can click show details of view the work order and more detailed information and the calendar feature is really helpful because you can just date back to whenever there was a work order and really be able to document it in a really efficient manner Next, we'll be looking at our preventative uh, maintenance. So you, we have our preventative definition here, and you can set your preventive maintenance based off dates, time, week, or you can use counter values. So if you want to do miles, rotations, vibrations, you can do that. And after a certain amount of time, it will send the automated notification saying uh, maintenance uh, or software update, whatever the asset may be is needed. And you guys will be reminded of that to make sure your, to ensure your assets in the best condition constantly. Next, we're looking at a material pool, very similar to our asset pool, but these are for materials, including screws, uh, wires, and whatnot. So here you can upload your general information like material definition, material codes, material units for your um, different assortment of materials, like I mentioned previously. You also have the ability to upload any serial numbers that you may need use and document if it's in use you also have your warehouse parameters so you can keep track of how much of each you have as well as keep track of the stock you would want to keep for example if you have a screw you can put a minimum maximum amount and a safe stock level and you can put a threshold for that and if you do want to see notifications when you are surpassing the thresholds you can set that up you can also put any equivalents or substitutions for screws that come from different vendors as well as the ability to store your vendors all within the materials management tab of our beam software which is really neat and allows for optimal efficiency and just creates much easier work process. Here you can also keep track of your incoming materials. Lastly, we'll be going into our personnel so you can keep track of your maintenance team, the people in charge of creating and fixing any issues with your assets. Uh, first, you have your general information, so you can upload photos, resource codes, their team, their group, as well as any personal information, so street, city phone number email addresses education any training they may have obviously you want people with proper training to work on your machines you can store off days any attached document as well as holiday weekends that they may not be working we also have a really cool feature in beam which is our calendar feature where you can see the calendar of your maintenance team and when they're available to work you can also do a side-by-side -side comparison as well as fixate the calendar from week month to year as well as include an agenda as well, and a time schedule here are some of our references For more information, feel free to visit our website or contact us with the email and phone number listed above. Feel free to reach out and ask for a demonstration or set up a meeting anytime. Thank you.